All right, let's do this. Let's get going tonight. Thanks everybody for joining us, having a good time. We're proud to announce that this is the second annual Voice of the Bull. My name is Joe Dubin. I work at WSMV Channel 4 in Nashville. I love working with the Music City, but with, with the new bowl now with the people and the people from uh, here in Nashville get the bowl started. So I'm excited to do this. It'll be a lot of fun tonight. We'll have a great time. Quickly, thank you to TransPerfect for being a partner in this annual bowl tradition. TransPerfect is recognized as one of the worldwide leaders in translation services and technologies that enable businesses to reach audiences anywhere in the world and in any language. The company's largest in its industry with more than 100, wow, global offices on six continents, including global hubs in New York, London, Barcelona, and Hong Kong. That's quite impressive. As mentioned before, this is the second voice of the bowl with last year's being held in person at Old Red in downtown Nashville. And we were so happy to keep this tradition going on in a most, most unique year. This year's contest saw dozens of entries from musicians across the Southeast. Now a reminder that voting will take place on the bowl's official Twitter account and through a poll you can find in the chat bar. So this year's game is on December 30th at 3 p.m. in Nissan Stadium, and tickets are available for purchase at musiccitybowl.com. Of course, if you cannot make it to the game, you can still cheer on from Nissan Stadium stands with a custom cardboard cutout. Again, visit musiccitybowl.com for more details. All right, we have some wonderful, absolutely wonderful judges with us today. we got three of them. And we're going to introduce them right now because they are fantastic. Our first one is Raina Whitfield, originally from Austin, Texas, received a bachelor's degree in social work from the University of Texas at Austin and a master's degree in nonprofit management from Texas State University at San Marcos. Now, Raina is currently the director of talent management at TransPerfect in New York City, where been working there since 2013. Now, throughout her tenure, she found her career in recruitment strategy, career development, employee experience, corporate social responsibility, and diversity and inclusion. Outside of work, Raina feeds several passions that include creative writing and dance, though now just a recreation, dance has been an integral part of her life. She began her dance career in early, early adolescence, went on to dance for the University of Texas Palm Squad, as well as professionally for a local Austin area, Austin Arena football team until 2007. Thank you, Raina. Next up, is Casey Mason, Emmy nominated. It's one of Nashville's most recognized TV personalities as a host and entertainment reporter from News Channel 5 here in Nashville, w WTBF. She's also host of the nationally syndicated country music news series, Nashville Insider. Casey has nearly a decade of live television experience. Her work has been featured on numerous networks and shows, including Good Morning America and CNN's Headline News. She has covered every major country music award show, including the CMAs, ACMs, and CMT awards, which two years ago I had to cover. I didn't know anybody. And I asked uh, Casey about a thousand questions, and she answered them all for me. Even though we're a competitor, she was outstanding. So thank you. When she's not working behind the scenes or in front of the camera, Casey enjoys life to the fullest. She loves fitness, running, traveling, and trying new restaurants. Most of all, she loves spending time with her fiance, family, friends, and her two German shepherds, Sammy and Winnie. Outstanding. Thank you so much. All right, next up is Kent Earls. He's a national native and 25-year music industry veteran. Kent Earls has been immersed in the music business since majoring in the recording industry at Middle Tennessee State University. Now, Kent recently was the head of Universal Music Publishing Group for, for set in Nashville for seven plus years and worked for the company for a total of 21. While at UMPG, he got the careers of some of Nashville's most well-respected talent, including Nashville Songwriter Hall of Fame members Rivers Rutherford, BMI Songwriter of the Year and Grammy winner Luke Laird, Grammy winner Shane McAnally, and Lori McKenna. Wow. He's also signed to develop some of country music's most influential artists. You might recognize a few of these people. His work with Keith Urban, Kane Brown, Sam Hunt, Marin Morris, Chris Young, Ingrid Andress, and Hunter Ace has made a significant and lasting impact on the country format. Ken is also a well-known and respected song plugger. 
and has placed numerous country hits, including Dirks Bentley's number one, Say You Do, BMI Country Song of the Year, Take a Back Row by Rodney Atkins, and the Brooks and Dunn six-week number one, Ain't Nothing About You. That's fantastic. Kent's ability to recognize and develop early emerging songwriters and artists is unparalleled. In addition to the above, he's also worked with Ryan Hurd, Natalie Hemby, Chase McGill, Troy Vergus, Andrew Dorff, Jimmy Robin, and Striking Matches. Our judges, thank you so much for taking time out to do this tonight. It's quite an impressive resume that you all have. So, all right, thank you so much. Uh, just a reminder to all contestants, please make sure you remain muted and your video privileges are turned off until you are prompted by a member of the staff of the TransPerfect Music City Ball. And I know we're running a little bit early here, so Joseph, do you want to go ahead and begin or take a second? I guess we can start the competition then. All right, here we go. We're going to start off with our God Bless America competition begins. First up, slot number one, we're going to introduce Miss Julia Cole to sing God Bless America. Julia, the stage is yours. <laughs> Thank you so much. What's up, y'all? How you doing? Checking our audio. We good? Cool. God bless America. Land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with light from above, from the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, wide with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. Oh, God bless America, my home, sweet home. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank you so much, Julia. Fantastic. Thank you. That was Julia Cole. All right, let's move right around here because people are probably ready to do this and get it going. Slot number two for God Bless America. Let's introduce Lindsay Bowman. Lindsay Bowman to sing God Bless America and slot number two. Lindsay, the stage is now yours. Wonderful, thank you so much. Just do a quick test audio. Make sure everything's good. Everybody hear me? Yes. We're good, okay, here we go. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above. From the mountains, to the prairies, to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Thank Great you. job. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, judges, you already got two performers and your work's already cut out for you. Let's move on to number three right now. Another, this is slot number three. You see, God bless America. Please welcome in Macy Milan, Milan Brown. Macy Milan, I'm sorry, Macy Milan Brown. You're up now. Slot three to see, God bless America. Okay. Yes. Okay. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, from the mountain. To the 
prairies to the oceans white with foam god bless america my home sweet home god bless america Thank you. Fantastic. We have three awesome singers so far. Well done, Macy. Good job. All right, so we're going to slot number four to sing God Bless America. Let's welcome in Michaela Maldonado. Michaela, you're up now to sing God Bless America. The stage is yours. Wait, is the audio good? Yes. God bless America. Land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, from the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, wide with foam. God bless us. America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet home. Well done. That was outstanding. That's four amazing singers. <laughs> Wow, good job there. Great job, Michaela. All right, let's go to slot number five. Let's bring in Mr. Brandon Conger to sing God Bless America. Brandon, my friend, the stage is yours. All right. Hi. My sound is good, hopefully. All right. God bless America. Them that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, from the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, wide with foam. America, my home, sweet home. Well done, Brandon. Thank you, my man. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, judges. Good luck with that. That's five amazing singers. We have to. <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible. Every single they one were of them. All incredible. Great that was awesome. job. Yes. I, I don't, I truly don't, Raina, Casey, and, and uh, Ken, I don't know how you're going to do this. It's going to be tough. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm glad I'm just the voice, man. That's, that's all, do that. All right, uh, remember to vote in the live poll on the Bulls Twitter account. And then, of course, the winner for God Bless America is announced after jury deliberation. Winner uh, will receive via Zoom chat from the Music City Bowl staff and, of course, a virtual picture taken uh, with the winner on that as well. So we'll take a little break here. Joseph, are you on? Do you want to continue? Do you want to hold up for about five minutes? Or Because I know we're running a little bit ahead of time here. We're just going to wait to get our votes in. Uh, so just give us a second here, Joe. And we'll okay. And you in just a second once we get them from the judges. Thank you. All right. Thank you. We'll take a little break then. Thanks, guys. And then we'll be back to announce the winner. And then we will do the uh, carry on with the national anthem.
All right, Joe, if you want to look at your chat, I believe we have a winner for you. Chat, okay. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, and the winner. I'm gonna go ahead and announce it, Joseph, is that good? Yes, sir. All right, the winner for God Bless America is Macy Milan Brown. Congratulations, Macy. You will be singing God Bless America at the bowl game. Well done. Well Thank done. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Thank you. You're most welcome. Great job. Let me ask Kit, Casey, and Renny to, to weigh on this. I mean, th this is not easy. I, I don't know how, again, I'm not making light of it. I just don't know how you can – that were five amazingly talented people. Kit, I'll start with you. Was there something that stood out for you? You know, all five, they, like you said, were incredible. I was honestly just blown away, and when I ranked them, it, 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 I, I had to, I guess I was probably last getting my vote in because I was trying to decide. It was so tough that each person had something unique that, that drew me to them. So, uh, you know, I, 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 I think all of them could win. I'm glad you won, Macy. I think, I think you're going to represent God Bless America really, really well and the, and Trans Perfect Bowl as well. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Casey, may I ask you, what was what stood out for you? Well, I mean, yeah, this is, first of all, I mean, this is incredibly hard as singers. You don't have that help from a microphone and that backup quality. I tell some of you kind of, you know, you're having to work within your homes. The acoustics are not always great in our bedrooms and hallways. And so I want to just commend all of you from the bottom of my heart to, to have to sing on a virtual Zoom like this with no acoustic help or, or any sort of adverb added to your voice or anything at all. You're hearing pure raw voices tonight. And I just want to say these are the top of the top. There was no wide margin between any of you. Incredible. I think um, I will say to Macy, you really took an incredible uh, yeah, leap there with that last note. It was absolutely strong and beautiful. And I was like, oh, she's going for it. And you did it and you nailed it. And it was beautiful. And um, I think you're going to represent this so well. So congratulations. And all of you were absolutely fantastic. Thank you. All right, Raina, we'll pose a question to you, too. What stood out and uh, how difficult was this? Incredibly difficult. Um, everyone was amazing, and it takes a lot of courage to do this. I'm not a, a music professional, so, um, you know, it, it was very close for me, but I, 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 I voted with chills, and so I got the, <laughs> you know, um, that, that last note um, echoing what Casey said. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Macy. Congratulations. And uh, let's hope for perfect weather at the ball game because you can knock it out of the park there. So Kent, Casey, and Raina, thank you so much. And then Joseph, do you want to hold up a minute or two before we start with the uh, national anthem or how do you want to proceed from here? Nope. We're going to get the next person going in just a second. Okay. Sounds good. Well done. The five that just went. Thank you so much. And the next one, singing the national anthem. Best of luck. And just let it go. Just seeing like the world's listening. Hi, everyone. Is my audio working? Yes. Let's introduce you to sing the national anthem. Michaela Greco, you were first to sing the national anthem in front of Kit, Casey, and Raina. Michaela, the stage is yours. Good luck. All right. Oh, say can you see by the dawn? early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was 
still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. That was amazing. Thank you, Michaela. Thank you so much. Great job. Judges, another tough one for you to do that. All right, let's move on to slot number two for the national anthem. Let's bring in Amanda Torp to sing the national anthem. Amanda, the stage is yours. Good luck. Hi, everybody. My name is Amanda Torp. Just checking in to make sure you can hear me. Yes, ma'am. Okay, perfect. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets rocket, the bombs bursting in the that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet o'er the land Well done, Amanda. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. All right, judges again, man. This, no, thank you for this. All right, let's move on now. Our third performer in National Anthem. Let's welcome in Chapel Hart to sing the National Anthem. Chapel, the stage is yours. Hey, y'all. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. I'm Tree. I'm Danica. I'm Devin. And, and we're Chapel Hart. Hart. And this is the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming in the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free Fantastic. Thank you 
Chapel Heart. I was worried if some car was going to hit you back there, but great job singing that. Fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, let's go to number four now to sing the national anthem. Let's welcome in Lauren McKenzie Zaring to sing the national anthem. Lauren, the stage is now yours. Hi, guys. Can y'all hear me all right? Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly stood and the rocket's red glare the bomb bursting in there gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Well done. Nice job, Lauren. Thank you so much. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, judges, oh man. All right, let's go to number five, our final one tonight to sing the national anthem in slot number five. Let's welcome in Emily Cozart. Emily, you're now up to sing the national anthem. Good luck. Can y'all hear me okay? Yes. Okay. Oh, say, can you see? What so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the Outstanding, Emily. Thank you so much. Well done. Well done. Now, again, a reminder, go to Twitter to the uh, to vote for who should sing the national anthem, the live poll on the Bulls' Twitter account to sing for that. All right, let's talk to the judges for a second. Kent, we'll start with you again. Uh, I just, again, I mean, not to be redundant, but how do you pick something like this? Well, it's hard not to be redundant when everybody's so dang good. I mean, that's, I think we're fortunate living in Nashville. Everybody moves here is an incredible singer. Right. So it, it you know, it, it, it does make it difficult. Um, you know, I, I, several of the five put a little spin on it that made it their own, which I liked. Um, that helps a little bit, I think, when you're trying to judge something like this. So, uh, again, it's going to be tough, um, but they were all great. So great job, guys. All right. Thank you, Ken. Casey, let's ask you the same thing. I mean, it's just – to pick five, I mean, that's that's nearly impossible. Oh, my goodness. I know to go off what Kent said, I mean, 
you know, um, they all did have their own unique spin. We definitely didn't hear the same version of the song once. There's a lot to um, a, a lot to consider, and I'm gonna go with what <laughs> Raina said with the last uh, round of singers. Just whatever gave me chills. I'm just gonna go off of that because. This is also the hardest song to sing. I, I once sang this at a high school basketball game in high school, <laughs> and I started in the wrong key. And let's just say I never sang that again. <laughs> but I know how much um, pressure there is behind this song. And every single one of these singers, I will completely say, gave it absolute justice. So it's going to be so hard. So let me think. I'll be back. <laughs> All right. All right, Ray, you said earlier, you made a great point earlier that you're not a professional singer, and that, but you, you come at this from a completely different approach. Uh, for you, Raina, how do you kind of figure out who's number one? Because they're all perfect. Yeah, they're all so, so good. And song is impossible. I mean, I, I might try to sing it in the shower. <laughs> I, I wouldn't dare try to, to sing it in front of a crowd. I, mean, I, I do have to pay attention to the unique spin because that's what sticks out in my mind. And then I'm just going to trust the chills and see what happens when I cast my vote. Fantastic. Thank you, Raina. I will tell you a quick story. Uh, Kent, you probably know Vince Gill pretty well. In 1995, Vince Gill was tabbed to sing the national anthem at the World Series. So he got out there in the, the reverb or whatever. The feedback was not working. So he was singing with the guy in the front row. He said this big, large, enormous guy in the front row. So Vince was singing with him. They get halfway through the national anthem, and the guy starts eating his hot dog. And Vince is like, oh, man. He said it was the worst performance he ever did of any music, any time, because the guy started eating his hot dog in the middle loop of the performance. So you ever see Vince? Gonna tell that story because it's fantastic. That's a great story. I sure will. That's funny. <laughs> yes, because it's Vince Gill and he's watching sure. this guy in the front row to help Absolutely. him out there. Absolutely. All right, so we'll wait a few moments and then we'll give you the winner of the national anthem. And Joseph, I'll wait for that to pop up in the box and let everybody know. Again, everybody tonight that did this, it takes massive courage to do this and to do it over Zoom and do it in your living room. So that is well done. So you guys are all winners in our book. So thank you very much. And then once I get word of who wins, we will let you guys know.
Okay, so next year I want to host and you judge, okay? <laughs> All right, here we go. We got the winner. And the winner that's going to be singing the national anthem at the Trans Perfect Music City Bowl. Here we go. Chapel Hart, you are the winner. Congratulations. You guys were outstanding, as was everybody else. So, well, well done. <laughs> thank you. Yes. We were on mute, so thank God you didn't hear the first screams. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, where are y'all? We're on the road headed to Kansas City right now. Well, not on the road. We pulled over before we started right. singing. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, so that's> <laughs> We don't usually let the band go eat, but today we decided it'd be a good time for them to go eat. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, the, the girl up front in the Southern Miss, is that where you went to college? No, our parents went there. Yes. Our okay. Parents. All right, my daughter's fiance just graduated there last week. So, oh, the Eagles, baby. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's outstanding. Hey, congratulations. You guys were fantastic. Best of luck. And uh, we'll see you on December 30th. God bless you guys. Thank you, Thank you we'll so much. You. Thank you. Oh, man, they're great. Also, it's a reminder, the game is on December 30th, 3 p.m. Nissan Stadium, December 20th, the selection Sunday for tickets or cardboard cutouts. Go to musiccitybowl.com or see one of the staff members for that. Thank you, Kit. Thank you, Raina. Thank you, Casey. It was fantastic. You guys are wonderful. Uh, did not envy your job at all. So well done, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much. Thank you.